And look at this. He's just staying. He doesn't even do anything. What a stupid dumb dumb. What a stupid dumb dumb. I've done 83 damage on 28. Oh, you can totally, you can totally just melee that dude. Okay, so that's easy peasy, easy peasy. Okay, so this thing is just going to blow up. Hey, yo, guys, it is me, Episodic, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So today we're going to be doing week three tasks because as you can see, week three tasks here are out. And one of these tasks is to finish preparations for an assault robbery. So that's what we are going to be doing today. I usually prefer to go for the stealth tasks and whatever because they're easier, faster and just cheaper in general, but I need to do like this season seven pass, so that's what we will do. And also we'll have to do another optional task, complete task infection on preparing to robbery because I usually don't do those tasks, but today we'll have to do them just for the sake of that week three tasks. And I think that in five days or something, this entire prison location is just going to disappear. So I think I'll be able to do like this prison location maybe once or twice and that's it. So, so why not just do it for the last few times? Also, I want to go and open up a couple of more boxes here from that prison location because uh, week three is gonna have some different boxes. I think I can even show them from the main screen here. I don't even have to go there. Wait, there is some sort of... Ta Wait, what reward did I just do? Why did I just get something here? I don't get it. I don't get it. What have I finished? Oh, visit power station. Okay, so I just got in 30 points just for visiting that power station. But yeah, when we go here to the season, I click on the store and boom, look at this, guys. There is this road captain's box and I'm still not really sure what kind of rewards are gonna be there because there are still uh, four extra items that I did not see. So we'll judge here probably today if it's even worth it or not. But first things first, I want to take the sneaking thingy and I don't really have to go and finish. Wait, infection is not going to be when they destroy the... I think I know what I'm going to do. Dude, I don't even have to do all of that. Wait a minute. I don't... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Can I just, let's say, hop inside of it just like that? Yes, I can just jump, guys, inside of like that power station and I don't even have to help the other guy because I don't have to do like that. I don't know how it's called. It's not sabotage. It's something else. But I don't have to do that other task up there. All I have to do is just do this task to help him out to poison the water, the infection thing. So that's what I'll do. Because there are a bunch of just zombies up there. And obviously you can kill most of them if you're just gonna sneak and whatever. But that's gonna take forever. And sneaking isn't always fun. So I let's up inside. And speaking again about that assault mission, I think I've done it maybe only like twice or maybe three times. And that's pretty much it. So at least it's gonna be something a bit different for me. And is that it? They're not gonna attack him out of nowhere. Okay, so he just infected one thing. I think it's done. Let's go guys to another place. And also, there's another task where I have to do like 2,000 damage with my closing uh, weapons. So that's why I'm trying to use my machete. And at the same time, there's another task where I have to do 5,000 damage with any modded weapon. So hopefully machete works here as well. Let's go to tasks. Let's go to week three. And yes, it all works. So that's why I'm going to be using machete. This way I'll be able to do both of these tasks at the same time. Again, these tasks, in my opinion, aren't really that hard. And I just would like to ask you for those who have like this pass, just out of curiosity, not to like discover something or whatever, because I'm just kind of curious here myself for those who did not get the full premium pass how far are you in that premium pass and how many tasks have you finished there because i've seen some people saying that it's impossible to get to level 25 so i want to know if actually more people can confirm this because wait i'm just gonna deal with this wave of zamzams you go to sleep another crawler go to sleep and there's one more crawler and i think that's pretty much it so so yeah i just want to know if it's possible for you guys to get to level 25 which even again this season i think the best rewards that you can get here are going to be like those five carbon composites on level 21 after after that, it's not even worth it to actually push further. So I think it's gonna be possible to get up to level 21 because all the rewards past level 21 aren't really that important as it's like you can just grind that bunker alpha and get it. So I think it's probably worth it to get like that, uh, those five carbon composites. But other than that, it does not matter. So yeah, guys, so how far you've went with that pass? Kind of sad again that this season we did not get like that tactical backpack. I've just done two tasks here because usually they give a tactical backpack, but I don't think they include that tactical backpack every season. I think they include every other season, if I'm not mistaken, because sometimes they include it and people like praise them for it. And then next time they remove like that tactical backpack and people don't like this. And I think they've been doing that every other season. So every other season, they're gonna include that tactical backpack. So so maybe, maybe next time they are gonna include that tactical backpack. I don't really know. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get some more rewards. We are only on level 30. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? And whatever, regardless, rewards here are just rewards. Nothing super special, so... Oh, that's it. There's nothing else that I'll have to do. Look at this, guys. There's no more other weird tasks. So I think now we can leave, like, this place in peace because I don't have to do any other tasks in this, like, power station. We're just gonna go to the other place to help that guy to steal that bomb to open up the prison location. I think I've stolen that bomb only twice and plus we're gonna fight today again, like, that big guy. Like, that huge boss in the prison location, right? They've added that boss. It's super unique, but you can only see him in that assault mode and that's it. It would be really 
really cool if they placed him somewhere in the prison location that he randomly escaped the cell or something. I think that would have been cooler. But again, you would just have to waste more melee weapons on him. And it's kind of hard to make season interesting when rewards are bad. But whatever, today we're not going to talk about any other bad rewards. If it's good rewards or bad rewards, we don't care about this season seven. I already said everything what I wanted to say in all the previous videos. You already know my opinion about this season. It's better than nothing. Now, let's guys do this one more event. Yada, yada, don't talk to me. You do not talk to me. I'm going to do all the job. Okay, so there's a the soldier. Okay, so three of them just attacked me. Got to pay attention to my health because I almost died there. I hate using first aid kits when I'm fighting three guys here at the same time because it is annoying. Uh, oh, no. Are you actually kidding me? I ran out of my weapons here. Okay, Uzi, go to sleep. Nice. Nice, nice. I've done it. I've done it, baby. I've done it. There's a shovel. Ah, ah, that voice crack. Okay, gonna loot this box. Most likely, we're not gonna get there anything good anyways. Uh, oh, no. Actually, this box was pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay. I'm fine with it. Not gonna say no to, like, three bandages and some other stuff. Uh, there's gonna be one more dude that I'll be able to put him to sleep. Go to sleep just like this. Let's deal with another soldier. With both of these soldiers that don't even have a melee weapon. Wow, I mean, dude, just craft, like, a katana or something. But, sir, you can't craft katanas! But what you can do is to smash that like button on the video because because how many times I have to tell you guys to smash that like button? But Zarek, why are you so mean? Nah, guys, but all jokes aside, smash the like button on the video. It really supports the video. So thank you for all your support. Oh my God. I'm going to lose my mind sometimes yelling about that like button. But it's all for the memes and lols. And it's really funny, right? Right. Whatever, I'm gonna destroy here a couple of more boxes to finish like that task sabotage because I think this is one of the main tasks without finishing like this task. I'm not gonna be able to get inside of the prison. Same thing if I'm not gonna steal that bomb. Also, let's deal with one more soldier. Go to sleep, sleep. Let's open up, guys, one more box. And I think we're almost done with this task. Besides, let's craft one more hatchet. And that's it. Like this, here we go, boom, tool broken. And yes, I've seriously damaged all their equipment. Yeah, we've damaged their equipment. Now, uh, I'm gonna like bring this bomb to the dude. And that's it, guys, we are done here with the assault tasks and I don't really think assault missions here are that much harder than the stealth missions. They're probably just the same, but when you'll get to prison location, you'll have to fight bunch of and bunch of guys there. So that's going to be a bit tough. That's where assault missions here are very inefficient because you'll just have to waste like around probably two full durability AKs, like full two full durability guns just to be able to clear like that prison location from all those dudes, which is kind of a nonsense in my opinion. Oh, we don't even have to take this armor. Really? I forgot about this. Wait, can I equip all of this? Maybe we're gonna have some armor in my inbox, please. Well, I am big brain. I have, like, still three Kevlar armors, right? Let's use those Kevlar armors. You might be like, but Sarik! And I'm like, dude! Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Here we go. We're gonna clear, like, that entire prison location with my Kevlar armor. I'm also gonna use all of my weapons that I have here, so I think it should be good enough. Also, I have a couple of bandages. We should be able to clear, like, that prison location. Easy peasy. Just wanna get back here to my man, Razor. What a name, Razor. Wait, I didn't finish some tasks. What? I still have to find the technician. It's gonna take me forever. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? I thought we were done. This is one of the most annoying tasks, honestly, about it. I thought that, you know what? It's pretty quick. I thought the task preparations are quick, but no, I was wrong. I was wrong. Here we go. I finally found this guy. Now I'll just have to go and locate his bike. And I've done this task twice. And twice I'm gonna hate it. I hate it already. Okay, so let's take all of the rewards. I do think that his bike is just gonna be up the very, very top. So I don't think it's really gonna matter. And another task finished. How many more tasks am I gonna be finishing here? I don't understand, baby. Also, I still have one more task that I have to do. Like a little bit of damage to those like floater bloaters. No, yes. So in week two, oh, I've already done that task, okay? Because there was this task, like, deal 500 damage to floater bloaters with long-end weapons, uh, with long-range weapons, so I've done that. So I'm doing this task now quietly and peacefully, but oh boy, it triggers me so much. This is honestly one of the worst tasks. I wouldn't say that it's, like, a bad task or whatever, except that it's just really, really annoying. So I guess this task does what it has to do. I mean, it makes you annoyed, which is, hey, it's fine, but look at this. They keep coming out of nowhere. How many more of these Zamzams are gonna come here just for us to save, like, this dude? It's, it's triggering. This is my third Third time doing this task and every time I guess I'm even more and more triggered like it's crazy They're destroying my Kevlar armor. They're destroying everything. Here we go This princess is finally gonna get to his bike. Is that it? Do I have to go and fight like with one more? Yes, finally guys task completed. What other task did I complete today? Whatever. I'm happy with it level 32 rewards Yeah, I oh, know somebody else attacks me. You know what? I'm getting out of the zone Don't even have to go and fight like that fast biter. Oh, I had to finish the task I think that was the task for the assault robbery, right? That's the rewards that I've gotten. Is it the oh, this is junkyard 
We could go to Junkyard technically, but should I go there? Is it worth it? I doubt it. Guys, I really doubt that Junkyard is going to be worth it, at least right now. I just want to finish a couple of more tasks. And look at this. Just today, just in like a few minutes, I was able to finish one, two, three, four, five tasks here just like that. And the rest of the tasks, yeah, I'll try to finish them as well. So yeah, I'm not sure, but I still think it should be kind of possible to get up to level 21 and get like those five carbon composites from like that free to play side pass. But regardless, let's click start uh, with that razor. Boom, we finished a couple of more tasks. More than we even should have, but you do what you gotta do for these season seven tasks. Now I'm gonna travel to this prison location. I have here a couple of weapons. Not sure if that's gonna be enough. As I said, I've done that uh, assault mode only twice. So I don't still don't really remember how many guys are there, but I think like these weapons should be enough. If that's not enough, hey, it will be another reason for me to complain how hard the prison location is and, is and blah, blah, blah. But I think that I'm gonna have enough weapons. I think that everything is just gonna be fine. It's still kind of weird. I have to go blow up the door for like whatever other thing, but there is like that biker with a metal cutter that came and saved us for free. I still don't get it why he just doesn't want to come here and open up that door just like that. I mean, it honestly just boggles my mind. You might call me crazy or whatever, but I honestly don't get it. I honestly don't understand why this guy is with the bikers right why those dudes are with bikers but why do i have to pay them it's not like it's not like i'm even stealing these crates just for me i mean they are happy to go here and get those and rob like that prison location right it was even their idea to go and rob like that prison location it wasn't like oh my goodness all of them are gonna attack me just like that are you kidding me well spread shot in their face all of them just go to sleep very nice dude just go and place that bomb why do you have to follow me like a puppy dude Dude, and can I like use that uh, machete on this big guy? Because somebody told me that you're not going to be able to use that machete on the big guy. Can I go and sneak behind him maybe? I want to bring guys the sneaking skill. I want to sneak here just like this. And will I be able to sneak past like this big, big dude? And look at this. He's just staying. He doesn't even do anything. What a stupid dumb dumb. What a stupid dumb dumb. I've done 83 damage on 28. Oh, you can totally, you can totally just melee that dude. Okay, so that's... Easy peasy, easy peasy. Okay, so this thing is just going to blow up. Uh, can he get damaged? Okay, he did not get damaged. Also, he's gonna help me with that jail burn. It was pretty easy peasy. And is he gonna go and help me fight like those guys? Can he help me out? Oh no, there's a turret. There's a turret. Let's fight with this Raider Rookie. Uh, bone Breaker. I'm gonna go put the Bone Breaker to sleep. We're gonna go. Here we go, guys. Just like that. Another Raider Rookie. More bandages that I gotta add to my thing. Oh my goodness. I actually am honestly scared that I will run out of guns here right now. Because I didn't take enough guns. Let's deal with one more turret. You go to sleep. Should have probably disabled the turrets here. Yeah, that task in assault mode was probably necessary. I mean, it was pretty easy to disable those turrets here, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Gonna deal with this Raider Rookie, another Raider Rookie. And I think you can even sneak. Wait, he's not gonna follow me first, right? Isn't he? Yeah, he does not follow me first for some reason. So I will most likely... Nah, I'm not gonna be able to go through there. But can I open up the door? The door is stuck, so I'll have to go from this side. Can't... Won't I? Yeah, I'll have to go there. Let's deal with this uh, Raider Shooter. Then I'm gonna add another broken AK here. Kinda sad that they don't drop anything, even like that broken armor. I think that would have been cool if they at least dropped something. But there's not that many of these guys as I remember. Why he doesn't even follow me? Why this dude is completely stuck? Can you please come after me? Why did you even open up that door? Why did I even have to open up this, this door to go and fight like these two guys? Because my dude was stuck. Can you follow me now, please? Yes, because he was stuck on that door for some reason. What a stupid AI. What a stupid biker. Okay, so let's go a bit further, baby, and we are almost done. We can start stealing those bikes. Okay, so not the bikes, uh, not the bikes, but the boxes. Let's deal with this uh, bone breaker one more time. And I think we're... Oh, no, there's the turret. There's a turret. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna deal with the turrets just up close here, just like that. Go to sleep. So why does he have to go and open up the door? Because he knows the password. He just blew it up. What? What is going on? I honestly... Wait, is he gonna... Oh, he's gonna open up that door here as well. Is that it? Is he gonna help me bring the boxes? Uh, I thought he would help me bring the boxes, isn't he? I don't get it what's going on, honestly, guys. I don't understand. I don't understand. So I'm gonna try to bring, like, I don't care if I'm gonna steal five boxes, honestly. I don't care. I'm gonna deal with these couple of dudes. What is he doing here? What is he... Whatever, there's one more box that I wanna take here with me. I wanna take, like, this new box. I wanna see... Uh, what kind of contents we're gonna get inside of that box. So there's not even that many of these black boxes. I think you can steal maybe like, what, three, four boxes from this entire place. Well, at least I'm gonna bring two boxes here like this. Well, and hopefully I'll be able to open up at least two crates from these two black boxes. Also, it is so weird, whatever, the time just ran out. In my opinion, it is so weird that on week three, they're gonna add, like, those a bit different boxes, but you're not even gonna have enough time to farm them properly to get any good loot from it. The only good boxes are just gonna be big blue boxes just to get, like, that gasoline 
probably, but you can also get that gasoline from Bunker Alpha, so whatever. I've gotten 30 of these patches. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're gonna go here, talk to Earl, and I wanna buy all of the boxes that I have here. Boom, let's get this, and let's get three boxes just like that, baby. Boom, so we're gonna start opening them up. I'm gonna open up, like, these Captain boxes a little bit later. I mean, we're gonna open up that right now, but after I open up other boxes... Okay, we just got in garbage, doesn't even matter. Club treasure box, give me at least something good. Uh, whatever, we've gotten that, and let's open up Road Captain boxes. So in my opinion, wow, this is seriously, Road Captain boxes are the worst boxes that you can get. There is not a single good item. Like, you might get here maybe like this landmine, but it's useless. Honestly, guys, it is useless. So honestly, this is the worst crate ever. I don't get it. I don't see any good items here. You might say that, hey, these three factory parts, which are incredibly rare to get, you'll have to open a bunch of boxes just to get here anything good from it. And uh, yeah, that's... That's insane. That's just insane. So yeah, just focus yourself on opening up like either like those uh, week two boxes or week one boxes. I would just suggest you getting like those blue boxes because they, you can get the most of them. So yeah, just as I said, don't even bother about opening up week three crates because they are really bad. There's nothing good inside of those crates. My Kevlar armor is almost broken. Wow, that's sad. Can I get an F in the chat for that? So while we're at the base, I would like to start upgrading this rack to another level because this rack that I'm showing here right now, it's already at level 11. I upgraded it fully so I can store now 70 items inside of one cell So if you haven't seen it, this is how far you can upgrade this rack But I want to start upgrading another one and I have here enough ash plank So let's take this let's take a little bit of steel also I need a couple of iron plates Maybe I'm gonna have them. Maybe no. I have more steel. No, nah, I don't have more steel than iron plates But maybe I have more copper than uh, than uh, iron plates though. Okay, so this is gonna be the chest that I'll be upgrading Let's go over here. Let's click on it, baby. Boom So now I'll be able to store 25 items here and when I, uh, when I scroll lower, this is how much space I have, but if I'm gonna sort it out, boom, I've gotten like, what? Two or three extra lines of storage, which is kind of impressive in my opinion. Even though this is really expensive to upgrade your rags, but this is like end game thing, because I mean, if you have assembled your ATV and everything, most likely you are gonna have enough steel here, as you'll have enough time to accumulate enough steel. So I do think that pricing of upgrading those chests is kind of okay. So hey, listen, just checking out my Scrap Mechanics Survival Let's Player. Click here on the second card and you'll go to my Minecraft area. Well, craft let's play or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep